What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome back to our Houston Voyagers relocation franchise. This is it guys, we've only got two games left, but this is the most important one. We are taking on the Jaguars. Honestly, depending on how things go, I might sim the game versus the Bengals, but we have to beat the Jaguars first before we even consider that. Got a bunch of upgrade points again this week. Noville, I, I'm gonna put it in a power rusher. I need some pass rush and it's fine. Cause I upgrade his power rush and his run stopper keeps going up anyways. All right, one more skill point for Darden. Bowser, what did he have, one or two sacks last week? Either way, he gets an upgrade point, too. All right, I gotta find a new picture for uh, Rico here, but he's gonna get a plus one. Azuku getting one. He's been sitting on the bench, but we'll get him up to a 70 overall. Muhammad finally getting another point. That brings him up to a 70 as well, with the morale boost, of course. All right, no need for messing around. We gotta take care of business here. Josh Allen's scary. Miles Jack is scary. They still have Jalen Ramsey in this game terrifying defense let's see if we can get it done Foles is the quarterback no Minshew mania here and he completes that for negative one yards got that one right all day too he got that yard back though you go ahead and take that short one I'll let you get the four yards oh geez get it oh no he got us there's that there's Josh Allen all right, so we're probably not salvaging this one. I'll put Lawrence on a streak. I'll take a deep shot, I guess. Oh, man. Why do I ever doubt Lawrence? Why do I ever doubt him? And he just always finds even more ridiculous catches to make. Give me an instant replay. Give it to me. Oh, goodness great. I don't want him to be the thumbnail again, necessarily. Oh yeah, let's get risky. Let's go ahead and run a read option. This can't possibly go terribly. Get a, oh no, he's too fast for me. And we draw, oh my God. Pick it. So you know what I should never do? Is run a read option. And I swear to God, if you let, okay. Do not let Marcel Darius run that all the way back. Oh, you're gonna review that? Please do. Oh, he was definitely on the ground. Never mind. He's going to go ahead and let Lawrence be the whole offense. But I'm still going to try and feed it to Nick Smith. He is in the MVP conversation, after all. I almost got Darden in the end zone. There's his touchdown. Now, do we get the drive goal for that? Because I think we automatically failed it when it fumbled, even though it got overturned. Look at the whole, look at my entire sideline, just disappointed. I know, I can't believe we just let Nick Foles redeem himself like that either. I blew that. Oh, there we go. Good job, Muhammad. Hit him hard. I wanted to cut off that underneath. I kind of thought that's where they'd go. Uh, five yard line. Ouch. Oh, that was a beautiful RPO. And once again, I just got done recording three episodes of North Texas. And now it's like, oh, right, the first quarter's over already. What is happening? Um. Okay, that was weird. Oh my god, Hentages, get out of my way! Everything was weird about that, including the fact that my wide or my tight end sabotaged me. I don't know if that was Hentages, it just seemed like the right person to blame. Good job, Lawrence. Okay. Oh, Nick Smith. Not going down. Just one of the carry people. Pascal's out here. Dang, Lawrence is really tired. Rico did not get the first down. We're going to run a hurry up. I will say this, everybody realigns a lot quicker. Did we? We did not get over. Hit right at the line. I regret nothing. That was me. I thought for sure it was a draw play and it was just a delayed play action. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought he dropped it. He dropped it and then re-caught it. 
I'm not even mad. I don't even know who's supposed to be covering him. Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I hate the tip drill crap in this game. It's not that they catch it off the rebound. That part's fine. It's how far the crap flies around when it happens. Thank you for holding out of that waller. That takes us to the two-minute warning. Oh, man, even Lawrence is dropping him now. Dang. All right, defense, can we hold him? They're inside. They're at the 10-yard line. Okay. You know, we started off looking good on defense and looking pretty good on offense. So going into halftime, tied at 7, it's a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. There's a good run. Thank you for holding on to that for one starting. I threw that and got immediately scared. Oh, wait, I have to hold down X in order to... Okay, crap. Still learning RPOs, guys. And he drops it again. See, that's the problem. Like, you're supposed to be my superstar wide receiver and you drop everything. Man, they really don't want me to go for this uh, fourth down, huh? Sucks to be you. Ah, oh, crap. The wind-up on fine. I had Lawrence about to be wide open. Yeah, good night. Saw that run coming a mile away. Oh my god, they went for the fake and got it. It, it was good to see. I mean, I don't like the fact they converted that. It was nice to see Gardner Minshew get some play. What is the flag? Oh, on them. Okay, no, decline that. We got the sack anyways. Oh, well, they definitely got the field goal that time. Alright, so they take the lead. This is the first time we've been trailing in a while, it feels like. Oh my god, with these sacks. This is why I have Michael Lawrence. The only one I can trust. Oh my god, again! Again! Stop Josh Allen. Why is it so complicated? Alright, defense. I don't care about the Super Bowl run. It's Nick freaking Foles. He's had two good seasons his entire career. We shut down freaking Trubisky, who's had almost as many good moments. We should be able to shut down Nick Foles. Well, I mean, if you're going to keep giving me holding penalties, I'll take them. Good juke. I'm not even mad. Finally. Okay, we shut him down again. Ooh, Rico's still on his feet. That could have been a bad one. He got it all the way up to the 28. Waller. Stay in and pass block. There. Darden holds on to it. Oh, Lawrence might have been open back there, too. Nick Smith with the huge run. There he goes. It's always... It's just harder to get the ball going in the beginning of the game. For some reason, at the end of the game, they'll let me do whatever I want. Defense gets the stop, and we've got this in the bag. The draw play got us. Dang, I think we tackled him over the line, though. That one didn't work. Meet Noville. Thank you for not blowing that tackle. They're going to kick us the ball, right? Okay, cool. You can put it wherever. I don't care. Oh my god, he got in the backfield before I had a chance to do anything. I was hoping Waller would get it. I was getting rushed anyways. Well, guess what? This time they're not going to punt the ball back, but at least we killed some clock. Thank you! Okay, I was about to say, where's Fuller today? There he is. Thank you, defense. I kind of like Darden on this, not going to lie. But they didn't let me do it. It made him hurdle instead. But again, they're going to let me have that. 
Hey, look at that. Third and two, and he needs exactly two yards in order to get to 100. And he's going to get a lot more than that and just throw some people off him. And, yeah, I just got greedy. That game looked a little too close for me. Let's get Darden in for a touchdown. That'll wrap this one up. And with that, guys, we have just clinched our division. That's it. It's over. We're done. Right now, the worst we're going to finish at is 13-3 and because the only game left, like I said, is the Bengals. Beat them in every single facet. We did not do very well passing the ball, though. But we did enough. Stats on the day. Fine actually finished with a 109.4 rating. 14-25 for 204 yards, two touchdowns. There were a ton of sacks. Nick Smith with 17 carries for 107 yards and a touchdown. The longest run was only 28. It seemed like it was a lot longer than that, though. Lawrence, five catches for 102 yards and a touchdown. Darden, four for 62 and a touchdown. Bussy, three for 19. Waller, two for 21. Yeah, we gave up six sacks. Braden Smith gave up four of them. Jaguars actually had seven sacks today. No, eight. Oh my god, wait. Four, five, six, seven, eight sacks. Their cornerback got me on a blitz, too. Okereke led the way with seven tackles today. Fuller, Bowser, and Leonard all with four apiece. Leonard and Okereke with two TFLs apiece. Fuller, Moore, Franklin, and Noville all with one. Bowser with the only sack today. He's coming on strong the last few games. Fuller with the only interception. Rocky Asin with two pass deflections. Hooker, Fuller, Muhammad, and Moore all with one. We're not going to wrap up just yet. I'm going to go sim forward a couple of weeks because we got the two guaranteed wins. And I'm going to see what's happening with the Ravens. And we'll decide whether or not we're going to simulate the Bengals game. Because if we lock up the one seed, then we'll do that. All right, Nick Smith wants the skill point. We'll do him now. And it'll sim forward a couple of weeks. And we'll, we'll see where we're at. Lawrence with one. The Ravens lost, so we're not playing the Bengals game. We'll simulate it. If we lose, that's okay. Ooh, I don't know about the Jets, actually. Do we have the tiebreaker over them? Hmm, I don't know. Never mind, we might actually have to play that Bengals game. Hold on, we'll go... We got a couple games to sim. Ooh. Got ourselves a D tackle in the sixth round. That's actually second round, round grade. Gladly take that. Finesse moves. I might put him over at D end. Okay, so... As you can see on the screen, it's actually on here a couple of times. The Jets are playing the Rams... The Jets are 10-3, uh, and three, the Rams are 9-4. and four. So, if they lose this week, then we don't have to play the rest of the regular season. But if they win, then I have to play the Bengals next week. So, go Rams. And the Jets won. So, we have to play this game against the Bengals, because they're terrible, but we're still not that good. So, I don't trust the computer to just walk right over them. So, it's the difference. Do we want a one or a two seed? I'd rather have a one seed. If it means playing one more game against the lowly Bengals, I guess I can do it. All right, so that'll wrap up this episode. Next time, it will be the series... Or not series. The regular season finale. Let me, let me start it again. All right, so I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Next time, it'll be the regular season finale. We're going to take on the Bengals. We're guaranteed a victory against the Jaguars in Week 17. So all we got to do, beat the Bengals, and we should... I mean, we might clinch the one seed anyways. I'm not sure what the tiebreaker is with the Jets. But I know that all that both of our losses have come in the AFC. This would be a third AFC loss. I don't know what they have. If they have an NFC loss, then they're going to have a better conference record and they're going to get the one seed. That's why we have to play this. So next time, we'll take on the Bengals and hopefully smoke them. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. If you would like to nickname any of these incoming rookies, there's only a few people coming from North Texas, so... Plenty of names available. Leave all that down in the comments section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.